Hello everyone, Chris here with Metro Restyling along with Phil from 3M. Hey. Phil, what are we doing today? Uh, so today we're going to install with the uh, 3M Rap Film 1080, that's the silver gloss silver chrome. Okay. And what we're going to do is that this, there's high body lines right now, okay, you see on the cars, and this Correct. is typically for a hood. Yeah. Okay. What happens is, is that if we take this chrome, which we need to do this with the chrome and stretch it out so make it nice and tight over those high body lines, it's going to take that adhesive and push it over, right? right? And then we marks. call that adhesive rollover. So what we're going to do is mark our high body lines. Oh, okay. So let's do that right now. So let's find that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then let's draw a line about an inch past. Yeah. There you go. Because we want the, the liner to go past that body line. Perfect. Okay. Put that down here. Okay, once we identify that, now we're gonna get our release liner cutter through the back cutter. And we're just gonna cut that back in paper. Okay, while we're doing this, we gotta make sure we have a sharp blade in there. We do not want the, uh, the back in paper to fray. And you want me to cut that same one? Yeah. Okay, the thing we're going to do is we have to actually release this liner, okay? okay? It needs to slide on that adhesive. Right. Okay, so let's try that right now. But we don't want to go all the way to the end because we need it to stay on the chrome. Okay. Okay, let's not touch the floor. Okay, we're going to bring it back up. Perfect. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut circles into that release liner. Okay. And uh, and some masking tape. So if we can get some masking tape. Sure. Can you guys get us some masking tape? Okay. And the reason that this is like this is you want the vinyl to flow over? Uh, yes. Over this? Yes, we want it to flow over. Yep. Yeah. And you'll see that right away. What's going to happen is when we pull it tight, yeah. it's going to flow over the high body lines. Okay, so let's cut three circles out. They don't have to be perfect. And what is the point of the circles? Well, masking tape can't stick to the release liner, Correct. right? Yeah. So what we needed to do is actually stick to the window on both sides of that release liner. Gotcha. Okay, perfect. Okay, now let's, uh, we can remove this. And let's hold on to the release liner and we'll flip sides. Okay. Okay. Once we've got it in place, what we're gonna do is let's see if we can try to move this so the camera can see this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's bring this up a little higher. Okay, higher. Perfect. Oh. Okay. So now see how it's gonna stick on the windows, on both sides of the window? Because if we just stick this on the release liner, guess what? It slides off exactly. all the time. Okay. Right now, we put that there. Now the paper's not going anywhere. Good. Okay. Smart. Okay. Now that we have that, let's. And I started your out oh, this side here. We've already started the uh, protective liner. So let's remove that liner right now. And just carefully. Now we can remove. Yep. Okay, let's just make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. So we're moving the release liner. Okay. And then we gotta completely remove the middle liner there. So let's just be careful here. There you go. 
So now it's completely off that liner. And if we pick this up, guess what happens? It's floating over top of that. So oh. it's actually floating over top of those so high body you, lines. When you pull over the body lines, the adhesive it's, doesn't move. Yeah, so now gotcha. we can pull as hard as you want, make gotcha. it nice and tight, nice. right? And yeah. that's what we want. Okay. okay. Let's do this. So what we're gonna do is, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock my side down. Okay. I'm gonna pull this here, and I'm gonna come help you on that side there. All right. Okay. Now, when I say that, we gotta make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. So I'm gonna just squeeze this down. So let's do this. So what we're gonna do is pull tight here. Okay. Okay, lock it down. We're gonna lock it down on the fender. Here. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Let me see. I just want to make sure my side's gonna be okay. Okay, let's uh hold on. Can you hold it here for a second? Sure. Yeah, I just wanna make sure it's off the body line here. Now, let's, uh, let's both pull, so we're gonna both on this side, and we wanna pull in a direction. Okay, that should be good. If we can, we'll, we'll have to readjust. Okay, because if we do this, that should actually take it off deep. There you go. So you got that here. So we want to pull in this direction gotcha. here. Okay. 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 Done. Uh, let's give it one more. And we're going to have to readjust at the top, it looks like. Not a problem. Okay, let's pull again. Nice. Nice and tight. Okay, lock it down on the fender here. Make sure it doesn't come apart. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull it here and lock it here too. So maybe we can do the same There we go. Okay, what we're gonna have to do is readjust up here. Okay, so we come back up here. Okay. okay, now pull. There we go. Okay, now lock it down so it doesn't go anywhere. That's, that's better. Is that okay? Yep. So what I'm gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is just keep on pulling it up. Just tighten it up. Now what we're gonna do is we can remove this tape and actually take that release liner off. As soon as we do that, let's hit those body lines right away. So I'm gonna get my glove on. Okay. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tack it to the window. So here's our body line. And I'll just tack the body line. That's all we need to do. Perfect. So before we actually start squeezing our center down, let's get rid of this. Okay. This is manageable now with the uh, with the chrome. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna hold it tight. Okay. What temperature do you want? Uh, 500. 500. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it tight and close to the car. And you see those fingers? Yeah. Those will disappear, okay? Or we're gonna break them down. And when you're doing a constant motion like that, you can throw a lot of heat on there. You don't wanna just direct the heat in one spot or you'll fade it. Okay, now you can move over here. Like that, yep. Okay, so I'm gonna split this in half here, lock it here, and I'm gonna move my fingers here, and there. I'm gonna lock that down now. Again, I'm not releasing the tension. Okay, you go by with that finger there, yeah. Now I'm burning All the fingers on. Go up higher, yeah. Perfect. See that, how it disappears? Yeah. Okay, so now we're just do that for this side. Okay. 
And that's all that is. So don't be afraid that you have to use some heat because- It reacts pretty well to it. It does, and you can see it shrinking. Yeah. But you just, the, the, the trick here is don't release the tension from your hands, okay? See, and then even when you have little ones like this, we're just gonna spread it out here. There you go, keep that up. And what we're doing is we're forming it to, we're forming that chrome. Right. Now it's gonna stay in that position. Right. Okay? Okay, so now we're ready to squeegee down our center. Okay. Okay. And I'll do that right now. And I'm using a slip solution. Uh, PPF gel, 3M PPF gel is what I like to use okay. because if it actually gets under the underneath the adhesive, I don't want it. I want my adhesive to stick. Where right. PPF gel, that's what it's made for, yeah. right? So, but Some other chemicals right now, the yeah, exactly. And right now, what we're doing is we're using it for the squeegee, not underneath. Okay. So I'm just gonna squeegee this down. Okay. And when you're squeegeeing, what you gotta make sure is that we leave a tunnel. And what I mean about that is I don't wanna close it off here and we're trying to, you know, bring uh, air up. Right. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take it, just make sure I'm overlapping my squeegee strokes. Okay, so then I got a little tunnel here. So what I'm gonna do is just kinda go back and forth to Good. make sure I don't trap air. All right, there you go. Now, what I'll do is we'll do this side. What we need to do is heat it up. Actually, wet your glove. Wet it? Yeah. <laughs> now, when you say wet it, like, like wet it gloss. Yeah. Yeah, because you want to make sure this slides. Okay. And what you're going to do is, perfect. Okay. You're going to take your glove and right down the center, right? Okay. Once I heat it, though. Because okay. what we're going to do is we're going to heat it, and you're going to see it wrinkle. And then you're gonna, when it cools off, it's going to relax. Okay, so we identified where the deepest part of the recess is, is right here. So now come straight up with your palm. Yep. And go straight up down the center. Yep, all the way, all the way. About right there. Okay. Now let's uh, keep going here. Right here? Yep, keep going. Yep. Overlap. Yep, so slower there. Yep. Keep going, keep going. Yep. Okay, let's we'll stop right there because we're stuck there now. Okay, perfect. Okay, keep going. Here, we've actually closed it off just a little bit, so I'm just gonna lift this up. Okay, hold on, let me heat this up. When I come up, you want me overlapping the, the previous? Yes. Okay, do that. So go up. We're gonna stop at the wrinkles, so I'll keep going. Yep. Okay, and stop there, keep going, and then now do another one, yep. Okay, and stop right there, and do it again. Okay, go up, yep, keep going up, going up, going up, perfect. Keep going. Okay, so we're gonna pause a second here, we'll just fix this up here. Gone. Okay. Okay, keep going. Is that gonna reach over? What we'll do is this. Yes. Right. We're gonna take the squeegee. We're gonna okay. switch, switch the squeegee now. Now that we've flattened it out, we could probably just use the squeegee nice and slowly. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, we're gonna have to pull that back up. So we're gonna do this. Yes. Pull it up fast. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, let's heat that up. Just so uh, don't heat up the, the, the squeegee line. Heat above the squeegee line. Yeah, perfect. Okay, heat up here with my hand. Yeah, right there. Because you see all that? That'll go away with heat. There you go. Keep going. Do that. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there. Okay.
Yeah, you should handle the gloves techniques. <laughs> That's okay. No, but you're learning, right? Yeah. No, this is really good. Well, I'll do the glove technique on the other side and you'll see. What happened was is that you came up, you gotta stay in the middle. Because if yeah. you close that off, yeah. it, you'll wrinkle it. Exactly. Okay. So, okay. What we do now is, we're not gonna work on this side. We're gonna finish this off. All we're gonna do is pull this tight now and onto the fender. Once we pull it tight, I'll get my glove out. Okay, and you want to start cleaning all that up with the Sorry. heat gun? You want Heated, to? Yep. Yeah. Sure. Don't touch the part that's tacked. Uh, no, you could heat the whole thing. Yeah, let's just start. Yeah. See, yeah, I'm on the fender too. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure I go past where my foot is. I like how it like clears up after it clears. Yeah. yeah, and that's all because of the tension. Yeah. Yeah, see how it just this this right. clears? So when that's ready, it looks you, like you're one, messing it up, but then it all clears up. Yeah. So then that's what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna go to the deepest part of that recess and bring that down. There. Right. Then I'm going to release this here. Okay. And because we've because we've stretched it between the here and here, this will just fall down. Now with chrome, usually the hoods and bumpers I heard are the hardest, right? Yeah. The hoods trunks. are hoods are different because before we had to do the hood always in two pieces because we didn't have a big enough piece. Yeah. Right. So yeah, now now, we have now yeah. Now we have to attack it a different way. So what's next? Okay, so what we have here is underneath, we have the 3M knifeless tape and it's the finish line. Okay. Because okay? for a finish line, it's for all finishing cuts. Okay. That's what this is, right? Okay. right? So if we put that down there already. And what we're gonna do first is this. We're gonna actually take this and find that corner. So it's right there, right? Okay. And what I wanna do is actually identify that corner by making a tab, okay? Just like that. Okay, so once we've done that, I'm just gonna release this back here. Okay, and you see this release liner? Yes. What we're gonna do is actually stick it underneath like this, okay? And the reason why I'm doing this, okay, is because I actually want to do a pre-stretch here, okay? But it's gonna be a pre-stretch not pulling, it's mm -hmm. gonna be a pre-stretch actually pulling the opposite direction. Because you see all the line, if you see fingers, guess what, the fingers are in this direction, it's going up and down. Correct. Why are we doing that? It's because we're always pulling this way. Right. But what, what happens if we actually pull it the opposite direction and bring it down? Yep. You're getting rid of the fingers, okay. okay? And what the release liner is gonna do is let us release away from because if we don't have this release liner there, it's gonna stick to the fender, Correct. right? Now Correct. it won't, and you'll see what happens. Okay. So right now I'm just gonna pull it back a little bit here. Okay, right there. So there's our corner. I'm gonna take the heat gun. I'm just gonna heat a little bit. And I'm gonna heat on the outside. Okay. okay. Not where the corner is. Okay. Okay. So my corner is right here. Okay. So my fingers on the outside of the corner, and I'm gonna stretch here. Okay. So this is all on the outside that stretch. Right. Okay. Once we've done that, all we're gonna do is this: bring it there, around the corner, fix this corner up. Okay that okay and i just want to make sure i get this to the back of the corner here just like that okay once i've done that now i can take some heat and with the chrome with the other ten, with the regular 1080 I, I don't have to hold it but with the chrome i'm going to hold it and see how it shrunk right around yeah fingers are gone awesome right so it does have a little bit of memory to it it does so then now what I can do with the release liner on there is actually fix the corner, okay? And because I don't like wrapping it around the corners, what I'm gonna do is this, with the release liner on here, because it's important, I don't wanna cut up anything underneath. Yeah. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna make a cut here, 
and I'm gonna cut here, okay? And then cut underneath the corner, like that. Okay, we can lock that in. Like that. And then heat that up. And look at that. That's one good looking corner, man. Yeah. And that's all it is, is stretching it up the way. And then what you can do is this. You can take this off and you still have that knife that's on there. Now you can start it. Trim that up, right? And then tuck underneath, right? And obviously you would have to open the hood, but tuck that all underneath. And there's, there would be another corner there, obviously, but right, right. we're working on that one. Okay, and then from back here, you know, we can cut from the back side. That's okay, because we're not cutting paint. And there's your corner. And then, you know what? Full steam it. Might as well. There you go. Nice. 